Hello, in the video coming up, I'll show you how you can change your DNS settings on your Android phone. So about a week ago, I did a video on how you can change your DNS settings for your Chromebook, but then I thought a lot of people also have an Android phone, whether you use a Chrome, most people who use Chromebooks have an Android phone, and even if you don't use a Chromebook, a lot of people use an Android phone. So I thought I'd do a video to show you how you can change your DNS settings on your phone. So first of all, the reason why you might want to change your DNS settings, by default, your DNS settings are used from your mobile phone provider. So you, the DNS server you use will be theirs. And that's sometimes fine, but DNS, essentially what happens is whenever you visit a website, the website you put in the actual website name, such as facebook.com, and then you get to the website. But all, all website domain, domain names are linked to an IP address, and it's the DNS server that checks to see, when you put in facebook.com, what IP address that's linked to, and then it takes you to the actual website. Now, if you've noticed sometimes when you put in a website and it just seems to be hanging quite a lot before it gets to it, it's not necessarily going to be the DNS server. It could be other things, but it could also be that the DNS server is slow to check. So one of the reasons why you might want to change your DNS server is to get a faster connection. Also, if you use your mobile phone's DNS server, you don't necessarily know how they use the data because you, when you sign up to a mobile phone contract, you just sign the contract. If you're in a retail store, you just sign with a pen and paper, or like most of us now, you do it online and you just sign it as you tick a, tick a box and sign the contract. And when you sign that contract, it's unlikely you check to see who the, the DNS server is that your mobile phone provider uses. A lot of them use their own, but some also use third parties. For example, I'm with Vodafone, which is a really big mobile operator in Europe. And I, when I check mine, they don't actually use their own. It looks like they're using a third party. So I don't know what this contract is between Vodafone and the third party. And I don't know how they use the data as well because mobile phone providers, they can check your DNS records. It's very unlikely they'd just check an individual's DNS records. They may check you know, a region's DNS records, but they could check your DNS records to see every single website that you go to. If you're happy with that, that's absolutely fine. Or if you want to use a third party, then that's what you can do. Now, there are quite a few different third parties you can use. The one I use is the Google DNS because it's fast and it's guaranteed that it's secure. If, the, if you're using a DNS server and it isn't secure, the problem you've got is when you type in a website address, if it's not secure, there is a risk that a man in the middle attack could happen. And what that means is that a hacker could get the data before it's actually taken to the IP address. So you're still taken to the IP address, but before that's the data moves sent to that IP address, they can actually grab the data. So that's something you really wouldn't want. So although I'm not saying mobile operators are using DNS servers that you can't be trusted, I would personally want to use one that I know. And when you use Google DNS, you can go online and check the Google DNS privacy policy. And personally speaking, I think it is a little faster. And I, I, I know that Google is obviously going to want to make sure your data is secure. So I'll show you now how to do it on your mobile phone and we'll, I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see what I'm doing as well. Okay, so here I am. This is um, Android 12, so it is the latest operating system. But if you're using up to Android, down to Android 9, it should roughly be the same. If you are using a slightly different Android version, you might have to check, but they should roughly all be the same. So I've just swiped down from the top and then you click on settings here. First of all, actually, what I'll do is I'll show you the DNS. So if you go here, and this is where I've gone to, and this is where I check to see what the DNS server is, I'll put the web address up on the screen so you can see it. And you'll see here, check your DNS server. So I'll press that. And there, as you can see, it's country GB, and the ISP, that's the CDN, ASN-CW access. See, I don't know whether that is Vodafone or it's a third party. So that's why I prefer to use a Google one. So I'm gonna show you that now. Now, what you need to do to check this again is not to just leave this open. You do have to close it. So again, it depends on how your phone works, but with mine, I'll just move it up like that slowly and I'd go like that and then that will close it, so that's fine. So if you don't close it and then recheck, it will still show that the DNS server hasn't been changed. 
Okay, so let's go back to settings. So in settings, you need to go to network and internet. And from here, you'll see here private DNS. So just click on there and automatic would generally mean that you're using your mobile phone provider's DNS server. So you want to change it to private DNS provider host name. Now this might be blank, but I've used it already, so that's why it's not. So if you want to use the Google one, you just type in dns.google and that's it. And then you'd simply hit save and that's it, that's done. And now you can check it. So open up your browser, make sure you've closed it down else you just get the same result. Press proceed to check. And there you go, it's Google. And sometimes you might get one or, or sometimes you can get two. So there's two different DNS servers now that you can use with Google. And so it, I personally think this is much sec more secure because if you are, do you really know that your mobile operator, how they use your data on your DNS server? It's, I, I much prefer to use Google and it is a little bit faster. I'm not saying it's gonna be crazily faster, but it's definitely faster. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching.